come on in, get a seat, grab a drink, a little snacky snack, because today's going to be a little bit of a show and tell. Now, I know I said a couple months ago that um, I wasn't going to shop for clothes and, you know, I was going to slow down and just focus on some other things and um, that handbags would be my focus. Um, well, I lied to myself and to you. I'm sorry. But we won't be sorry after we see these pieces because I got a few new things in because I wanted to take advantage of the sale season. There were a lot of beautiful things on sale and I was like, I don't think it's going to make it to the outlet because some of the influencers were posting them. I'm like, you know what? You know what happens when that happens? It sells out. It sells out. And I just couldn't chance it. I couldn't chance it. So... Unfortunately, there are no handbags a part of this particular video, but soon come. I haven't made a purchase yet, but soon come. But let's get into it. And some of the pieces are gifted. Some of these pieces are actually gifted. So we're going to walk through that. The first set is gifted. Hold on. This Un Femi New York set. Now... If you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok, you've seen this video with the um, long tailored split coat that she also makes, and it is to die for. First of all, Unfamet is black owned, woman owned, based here in New York. Um, her roots are in production and design, and just the lace itself. Get into this bell sleeve. When they say bell sleeve, this is what I mean. I want dramatic. I want extra. I want real ring-a-ding-ding -ding bell, okay? And then get into these shorts. They're called, they call, she calls them bloomers, which I mean, the entire brand is luxury lounge where they're available in Bergdorf Goodman online and in store. And then you can directly email them to place a made to order, um, a made to order order. <laughs> You know what I mean? But we found each other on Instagram. I think one day the brand's page commented on one of my photos asking the location of where I was in that photo. Like they, they named the location. I was like, yes, oh my God, like you knew right away. And it's not a park that a lot of people frequent. So I was like, oh, I'm impressed. You know New York. And then I go to the page and I'm like, why don't I know about your brand? Like, why am I just learning about the brand? The imagery, the concept, you know, the designer herself behind it. Um, I just fell in love. And immediately we bonded and we spoke on the phone. She was like, I would love for you to do some like video work, like how you do your content. Like, can you do that with my stuff? I'm like, sure. So we struck up a deal. We created a partnership and she sent me a gang of pieces, which I also showed that, um, the run through on my TikTok and Instagram as well. And it is divine. It is divine. So these were the pieces that I was able to keep. She's actually also making me a coat. So I'm very excited. I mean, and together and separately, like I can't, I can't, I can't. So check them out. Unfeme New York is the Instagram name. Now, Oh, shortly after that campaign, I was invited to Diane von Furstenberg. Uh, she had like two events, but one for Women's Day. And this, these pants, like all the girls were wearing that work for corporate um, in different, what's it called, in different prints and whatnot. So I was like, what are these pants everyone's wearing? And they were wearing them with sweatshirts or just like beautiful tops or matching tops. And it's like this mesh. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's not sheer at all, but it is a mesh. They're so comfortable, so cozy. I'm not necessarily a print girl, but I was like, I got to have those. They can go with so many pieces. And I love the colorway, because check this out. Check this out. And obviously, I'm going to show you like what it looks like on. But this goes with another collection that I was gifted. And I was like, no freaking way. And I put, I paired them together with the bomber and everything. And it just looks so cute. But these are really cute. And the price point, I think, was, um, I think they're $198, if I'm not mistaken. And this set from Unfeme is actually, it's on sale today. I think it's the last day for Birdorf Goodman for 25% off. So typically, I think it was like 7 something And now it's 5 something for the set, for the full set. 
um and it's exquisite but this i believe is 198 and just an easy throw on and i feel like it's machine washable too which is like really amazing because sometimes you don't want to always think about your clothes oh dry clean only child i'm gonna throw this in the washer and then hang too dry because it is it is built like that it can handle it but literally had to get these now fully gifted from puma and june ambrose their keeping score collection for women's uh month and that was a full-on surprise i've never first of all love june ambrose she's a living legend she has literally like purchases like this or just certain style just style knowledge just it all comes from her but they reached out to me the agency that um works on her campaigns they were like oh we're having a puma and june ambrose event to celebrate her newest collection with puma she's a creative director over i was like excuse me how did you find me and come to find out someone who worked at ugg um last year remembered me from the event and i was like this is so cool like full circle right so they had the event at lip bar in the bronx which is a black owned bookstore it was beautiful i bought three i bought two books and like some tarot cards don't get me to don't get me started on the tarot cards because i'm like what am i doing with those i am not that girl but i was like these are so pretty <laughs> so i bought them anyway and at the show at this event they did a spoken word with all women poets and it was phenomenal and i met june ambrose and she she complimented me on my tyler lambert hat and we had a good little giggle we were talking about our outfits and she just she's amazing like her energy her spirit just feels so so beautiful so nice so they sent me a box of the whole collection and i was floored i was flabbergasted okay this was one of the pieces that she wore with this long it's like a it's a vest but it looks like a dress almost and this bomber is amazing it has june on the sleeve and it also is reversible oh it's hooked on see so it come it it comes together with the vest underneath and you hook it onto the loop there and you can also wear this inside out or reversible and it's that full green effect now obviously i'll put everything on but you will see it i also posted about it on my instagram today um, we did a video just to like show our thanks for gifting this entire thing because this wasn't cheap you know what i mean like this was these pieces cost okay they cost so i was really like wow they didn't have to send me all of that they sent me the sneakers and everything and then, um this piece is really cute like a beautiful layering piece i love this green you see how it goes with the dvf pants with the thumb holes love a good thumb hole and it has um calling all shots established in 1973 and then it has the uh, June Ambrose detail right on the zipper. I think every little detail, you can tell, like, she was embedded in this, okay? And then, obviously, they had the tracksuit, okay? The tracksuit is living, honey. It's giving I'm an old-school basketball coach, and I'm the flyest coach in all of the leagues. Okay, get into it. And then they have the Puma detail on the back, which is so fresh this is so fly it's so fly like i love i love the colorway of it because it's not so y'all know i don't do a lot of color and i feel like this color it's almost it's like a muted jeweled color and that i can handle i actually forgot let me go get the sneakers they sent me because they sent me sneakers i thought they were in the room with me and they obviously were not um but those fly 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 truth be told this is actually so these are an eight and a half and i didn't realize in puma i am um i have size down i guess because these were a little roomier so i'm trying to find one of my friends that wears a a nine in sneakers because this eight and a half is a little bit bigger i'm gonna buy the eight because they're so they just they look so classic look at this detail it's like the exposed foam and then this piece I really love these sneakers. Like she did her thing with this design. And they did have another sneaker. They they okay, lighting. Get get yourself together. I'm sorry I shocked the camera so badly. 
they did have another um sneaker i think it's more like it is more athletic whereas this one is more leisure every day right and you'll notice i have things back here that's going to be a part two video so don't don't look over here um but yeah isn't that cool they sent me all that stuff oh and there's a t-shirt too but I, I put it in the wash i already wore it um the other day after we shot the video i just ended up wearing a t-shirt out that day but thanks again june horn and puma hoops because your girl is feeling like, I don't know, I'm blushing. I'm really grateful for that. Grateful to have met her and to experience her and grateful to have paid homage back with this collection, like creating a video in her honor because I'm like, thank you so much for this gift because this is really nice. It's cute. I love it. I like, this is so me. And I was able to style it several other ways with other pieces in my wardrobe. So get into it. Very much available right now. It's been, it's been available, I think, since last week, but... I'll leave the links to my like to know it in the description box so y'all can review the pieces and the prices, okay? Now get into this moment I found on it at Porte. It was on sale. It was still a little expensive, but I said, I need it. I want it. So I got it. Do you see this coat? Do you see this coat? Dries, oh my god, look at the quilting. Now if you saw my Paris runway review with Dries Van Noten, I think it's part one, there's a floral trench coat and I was like, it's padded, I know it's, it's cause of this coat. They, they pad these trench coats that they make. This thing is exquisite, it's impeccable, like I just can't, I can't get enough. They even have this button detail on the freaking, Look at that. I don't even know what that's for, but it's there and it's just gorgeous. It's beautiful. The whole thing. It has a pocket right here. Mm, I love it so much. I love this print. I love how it feels. I've been wearing it. I've been wearing my hoodie underneath this and just feeling so comfortable because it's warm. It's really warm when I'm wearing layers, obviously, but then it's like good enough for this transitional weather and going into spring. Oh my God, I love it so much. That's so much. Okay. And I have, I have two more, I have two accessories and two more clothing pieces. Now, Everybody done lost their mind with the Frankie shop, including myself. Y'all know what? The Frankie shop got me on a chokehold. They know they got me on a chokehold. And you know what they told me? Because I missed a, a drop of something. Um, they, I didn't realize that they drop or restock on Saturdays. Like, they don't know exactly when pieces are going to drop. Like, when they'll get the shipments and stuff. And I feel like they get maybe, like... I notice that anytime I go to Instagram they'll restock like 400 units on Instagram. Like you can see that 400 people purchase that item, right? So I know it's like in the thousands they probably do as far as restock units are concerned. But this is one of the pieces that um, went out a stock, restocked like two, three times. It's the back button down with the tie in the back. She's so sharp. She's so exquisite. And it's that, you know, that it, it feels like there's a little bit of padding on the shoulder, which I think is genius because it creates that structure and it keeps the structure. Because you know what, cotton poplin, I have issues with, you know, especially if I'm getting it, like no shade, but if I get it from Zara, I know it's only good for one wear and that's it. And that's annoying because it's like sometimes it's $45, $69. Like I'm going to need to wear this like two, three times. Don't play with me at least not even at least give me 10 times because why anyway but i can tell that this is a great cotton poplin and the structure that they put in that shoulder mm. amazing it's quick way so y'all know what's sold out but go ahead on their website and put put your info and email me notification situation and keep an eye out on Saturdays, they post I feel like they post a restock notification first on Instagram. Or there's like, I don't know. I don't know. But you got to be quick. You got to be quicker than that. Okay? 
just like the, the fisherman with the fish pole. You gotta be quicker than that. And for the final clothing piece, now this brand is actually owned by a Jamaican woman. I learned about her through, what is, I think LVMH is doing, oh boy, let me double check. Cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna be wrong, loud and wrong. So this brand is a finalist in the LVMH prize and literally, so it's a nonprofit organization and what I'm assuming is that they take several up and coming designers and um, to, to make notice of them, uplift them. And there's like several brands, Luar's on here. Uh, this brand is on here, Balin Russo, but Diotima. Diotima is one of the finalists for the LVMH prize. And when I saw her, first of all, like I saw her on the picture and I was like, oh, she looks like one of my cousins. Like, you know, someone I could relate to. And I clicked on it and I realized she's from Jamaica. And some of the pieces that she's designed, the there's like a, women in, in Jamaica that she works with to do the crochet. And it is so beautiful, the detail behind some of these designs. Now, these are not one of her crochet knitted pieces, but this pan, the material, get into this material. I don't even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. And truth be told, it's a size large and they're so big on me, but I'm gonna get them tailored. They didn't have any more left. They didn't have any more. So I basically, I took these two sides in and I pinned them because it's a double um, double pleat. So it's literally, it just lays pretty easily, but I'm gonna get the tailor to lay that down. Let me see this material. Oh, it's a mixture of polyester, acid. I don't even care. Lining cotton, made in New York, USA, and machine wash and warm, hang to dry, that I love. That I love, easy, easy care, easy care. But I love the belt loop detail on these and just the overall like shine to them. Cause y'all know I don't do color, but for some reason I was really attracted to these and they fit so nicely, even though they're too big on me, they literally look so nice. Like it, it hangs a little bit low and it's just perfection. Perfection. Check her out, keep your eye on her. She's available I think on Moda Operandi and a few other um, sites, but Keep your eye on this brand, Diotima. Diotima? Yeah, D-I-O-T-I-M-A. Love. Now let's get into two accessories that I purchased. You know it's shoes. Now the other day, I was on Dillard's. I've never purchased anything from Dillard's. So I didn't know, but they shipped really quickly and I found these Schutz Birkenstocks it's giving Celine, Phoebe Philo era, and that's why I had to have them. And also, I'm really excited for whatever she's gonna be putting out in September. Like, I feel that September Fashion Week is going to be impeccable. Okay. And then these, I got a size nine and a half. They do, they, I feel like the straps are a little bit big, so I went all the way to the last hole but they're good if, if you have wider feet, and I kinda do, so these are perfect. Now this purchase is Karen Britchick's fault. I was minding my business one day. I wasn't looking for nothing to purchase. I wasn't looking for nothing to purchase. Then she gonna put on these boots. And I say, you know what, Karen? And then she gonna put up the link. She gonna put up the link and they were on sale. And I don't mean rec like, sale, sale. So I bought them. They almost come up to my cootie cat, but they are astonishing. I risked it. I risked it because, no, nah, what's that dent from? First of all, Nordstrom. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have my car, but look at that. That don't look right. That look like it got smashed. Anyway. It's okay, it's, they're on sale. But literally, they're at eight and a half. I typically purchase nine and a half, or they're at 38 and a half. 
38.5 and I usually order a 39.5 they did not have that they had 38.5 and I said girl it's okay because it's Nordstrom you could always take it back if it doesn't fit they fit they they fit and I can only wear like a nylon sock with like a very thin sock but they fit and they're comfortable Karen if you're watching this your fault and I love you for it. Now, that's all for today's episode. I do have another one. We're gonna do a little bit of a high street situation. And um, you know what? Actually, no. Let me show you one more piece. And you're gonna get annoyed with me because it is sold out, but they are restocking. And this is a high street piece. When I tell you Mango snapped when he made this leather coat, y'all, I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on the side, but I'm gonna leave the link because even when you go searching for it, you can't find it. But they going they are restocking this. So many people have approached me on the street. They DM'd me this jacket. They snapped. And I do know H&M has something very similar. I don't know if it's leather. This one is. Mango knows coats. Mango can do a coat. You hear me? So I'll definitely leave this in the box below. Um, so y'all can find a direct link and sign up for the restock notification. Because this is very worth it. Like instant purchase. It's heavy, it's oversized. I feel like, and I don't even care like if if more slim cut jack uh, leather jackets come in style or like blazer leather jackets come in style. At the end of the day, I feel like any silhouette of a leather jacket you wear, doesn't matter what's in style, like where if you look amazing and you feel good in it, that is your trend. Y'all know how I feel about stuff like that. But that is what I purchased when I wasn't supposed to be shopping and I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any questions. Comment below on your thoughts on these pieces and uh, I'll see y'all next video. Bye!